Hey everyone, it's Josh here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Platform Convert Kit, a powerful cloud-based email marketing tool meant for bloggers, podcasters, and YouTubers. Meant to grow your audience and turn your subscribers into paying customers through its powerful yet very easy to use features. Let's get right into it, showing you everything you need to know to get started as a beginner using ConvertKit. Now jumping right into the platform here, ConvertKit actually offers a 14 day free trial with no credit card required. So all you have to do to get started is hit the get started free button and it's gonna ask me, am I a robot? In my case, I'm just gonna go and inform it that yes, in fact, I am not a robot. I'll create my account here, enter my name, enter my email, and we'll enter a secure password that will be unable to be hacked. We'll agree to the ConvertKit terms of service and get started. And before I get started on this, I highly encourage you to go down in the description below and actually click the link and follow along in real time, just so that you can learn things as I'm showing them to you. And we can get through this together. So all ready to go? Let's get started using ConvertKit. I'll hit the get started button here and it'll create the account. Now. We'll just give it a moment here. Welcome, where are you joining us from? Uh, nope, I'm just starting out and we'll just answer a couple questions here. How big my audience is and we'll say, you know, business name, I'll just keep that the same. Uh, do we wanna use a custom domain? No, I'll just keep that the same for now and I'll enter a couple things. Uh, influencer, filmmaker, and let's say YouTuber. Yep, those are things that I am. And what are we hoping to achieve with ConvertKit? In my case, I'll just say send emails earn an income, I just wanna look around. We'll just say I wanna look around as I'm showing you all the features. And don't worry about being locked into any one of these particular features. You can always go and change them later on. Now, final step, get your account approved faster. Now, in my case, I'm just not gonna to have to enter those and we're gonna hit continue and get right into ConvertKit. Now, you can watch the documentation that ConvertKit actually provides into getting started. This is a great way to get started using the platform. But in our case, we're just gonna simply hit get started and here we are exploring ConvertKit. The first thing it highly encourages us to do is create a landing page or form. Now, collect Collecting emails, as it says, is simpler with a pro looking landing page. And this is something that you can do using ConvertKit. We can set up the form and customize it in minutes. So let's get started doing that. We'll hit the create a landing page button and it'll automatically ask us, you know, create a landing page or form, select a template and customize it. So we're gonna create that landing page. We'll click on that button here and we'll say, ooh, look at these templates. Um, I'm really feeling this one. This one looks professional, so I'll choose that. Or if I wanted to just get a preview of it, I could hit that preview button here, but here we go. We've got our thing. So we've got our general styles and all that. Here's what we'll learn in the webinar. We'll learn da 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 da. And I can actually click on these styles and I can adjust these things like the opacity, uh, the font size. Maybe I wanna make that a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. I can start to customize this landing page automatically through ConvertKit. Now in my case, all right, we're gonna hit the button that says save here. And if we get that saved, great, your landing page has been saved. Now I'll just click that here and I'll just type in Josh's awesome landing page. In just minutes, we have a ConvertKit landing page set up automatically. But if we wanna get people actually signing up for our email newsletter, we can actually go back here and we'll hit the leave button for a moment and we'll go back and we'll actually create a new one. Um, and in this case, we'll say form. This is where we can embed a form anywhere on our website, sales page, or landing page that we host ourselves. Now, there is the option to actually embed these things into your website. So if you don't wanna create them using ConvertKit, you can just simply make your version of it in ConvertKit and put it on your website. It has that flexibility, which makes it easier to integrate it directly into whatever platform you may be using. So if I hit form here, we can choose the display, inline, modal, slide in, sticky bar, however I want it to be displayed on my website. And we can hit inline here and choose a simple template. In my case, we'll just choose the simplest one uh, with an email address. I can simply go here and I can add more details, things like you know font color, custom field, first name. And this would be when I'm getting people to actually sign up to my newsletter. Now, what's really cool about ConvertKit is the way that it visualizes information in a way that other platforms don't. If I wanna move aspects of the form around, I can literally just click on them and just drag them around. If I want first name to be here, an email address, yeah, first name and email address, built in ConvertKit. I think I'm good to go with that. If we hit preview there, we can actually see how it looks on the page. Um, and if we go back to the ConvertKit tab over here and hit the leave button, bringing us back to our desktop, we can see that the next step is gonna be actually customizing our email templates. So what we can do here is if we hit the create an email template button, we can customize the templates for our specific audience. We can choose a template, customize it, and rename it and save. And so we'll do that right away. We'll hit the create your email template button here. And again, picking which one we like. I'm feeling this one grow. That just kind of looks cool. And we can say lesson one, welcome to the course. Great. I'll say Josh's awesome course. I can go and uh, edit this lore Mipsum here, deciding what's best for the climate. Did you enjoy this email? Send a tip. I can just click on this. And again, just like the other page I showed you, all we have to do to move things around is just simply highlight them and we can go up down, we can duplicate things here. We can really customize it and design it to be whatever we want it to be. So in our case here, let's just say I'm good with that. 
and we'll hit the Save button here. And you can see already how you can start to customize and design your email templates, landing pages, all within ConvertKit natively. So if we go back here and we say, yep, this is good, and we go back to the dashboard here, we can see that the third one is write your first broadcast email. Enjoy an editing experience so smooth you'll prefer drafting your copy in ConvertKit over a different document. Format your content and add in interactive elements, plus we auto-save so you never risk losing your work. Well. This is everything you need to know about creating your first broadcast email. We have email templates, content block menu, and when we hover over our mouse over the email editor, we'll see a plus sign. Writing your first broadcast email can be very simple when using ConvertKit. Now, we're gonna simply write our first email by hitting this button down here. And here we are, writing our first broadcast email. We'll say, Josh has a new newsletter. And I'll, I'll add some content in here. I'll say, I am so excited to have a new newsletter. I'll add that on there and I'll, I'll make that bold, you know, by just highlighting it and hitting the bold icon, maybe underlining it and I can, you know, add blocks. Now, if I go ahead and hit the slash icon here while I'm in this editor, we can see all the different things I can add. Things like paragraphs, headings, etc. We scroll down, we can see the different buttons that are customized, recommendations, products, icons, layout, snippets. There's a lot of stuff we can actually add in here to customize it to our will. We can do all these things. So in my case, say I want to add a product into this newsletter. I want to actually say yes embed a commerce product and choose a product from the sidebar. Now in my case, I don't have any published products, so I'll need to publish a product first. So let's go back and see how to do that exactly. Now the fourth step here, learn in Creator University, tells you everything you need to know to get started, but for our purposes, we're not gonna be going through that because that's obviously the final step and we can actually see the courses on how to set all these things up. But what we're gonna focus on right now is the grow tab. If we go to the top here, we can see growing our subscribers, browsing all of our subscribers and customers, landing pages and forms, our creator profile, and our recommendations. So let's start simply with the subscribers tab. Now, if I actually click on the subscribers tab here, we can actually see I can organize my subscribers with tags and segments. And if we wanna add our first subscriber, all we have to do is hit the add subscribers button. And we can see adding subscribers and we can either import them or we can create a new tag. Now, tag name imported February 13th, 2024, that's not a very interesting tag name. So in my case, I'll say new subscribers. We'll put that in there and we'll say create tag. Now we can see the different ways that we can actually import subscribers. So we can add a single one, import a CSV, etc. We'll hit add a subscriber and we'll just simply put in me, Josh test at email.com. And we'll say that this subscriber is included in the tag new subscribers. I'll hit save. And there we go. We have the first new subscriber. And we can already see the analytics that ConvertKit already provides in growing our audience. And just that first subscriber, we can see that they were subscribed at this time and our status is confirmed. So if we click into our subscriber here, we can actually see the email history, the automations, the sequences, forms, and purchases. We can see the entire flow from first signing up to our email list to actually purchasing products from us, however we may choose to do that. So if we go up here to the Grow tab again and go to the Creator Profile, we're not gonna go to the landing pages and forms because we already went through that, but if we go to the Creator Profile, we can see that this is our hub on the internet, a one-stop shop for all your subscribers to find your content and products. If we click into that here, we can see Josh Mountain. So taking a look at our creator screen here, we can see that it's pretty boring. I don't think anybody would actually sign up just based on this. Fortunately for us, in the design and template tab on the right side, we can actually browse the template, change the background color, heading color, fonts. In our case, let's pick something Arial Black. Yeah, it looks professional. We can see what this looks like on desktop and mobile, and we can actually share this page on X, Facebook, and email. But this isn't just a place for people to sign up for your newsletter. No, this is hosting, as it says, if we hover over the Grow tab, it's the hub on the internet, a one-stop shop for all your subscribers to find your content and products. And that's what the tabs on the right provide. You can add your newsletter posts, products, recommendations, links, and we can actually customize the domain name and the search engine optimization. So if I were to click things like products here, we can see that I can show commerce products, all the commerce products that I have. If we go back, we can see things like links, if we wanted to put a link to this YouTube channel, we could do that as well. If we wanted to go and add newsletter posts, we could do that. We can see things like from the navigation menu, what posts, links, recommendations, we could put all that in there, making it truly our one-stop shop on the internet. But for now, we're gonna be moving on over to the send tab. So if we hover over that and click on it, we can see the broadcasts sending an email to some or all of our audience and to our public feed. We can see sequences, create multiple emails that are sent in order or our email templates, create email templates to use as a starting point in our emails. Now we already saw little bits and pieces of all of them. And for snippets, you can supercharge your emails with reusable blocks of content. Now we've seen bits and pieces of all of these things, but for now, we're gonna focus strictly on sequences. Now, if we click on the sequences tab here, we can get started build trust and consistency using automated emails. Now, 
This is a really important thing that differentiates ConvertKit from other email tools in the market because it makes it very easy to segment different members of your audience and send them customized, personalized emails depending on where they fit within your scope. Do they buy a product from you? Do they just send it to your newsletter? Were they redirected from a YouTube video? Whatever it may be that you are trying to do for them or they are trying to do for you, this is a great way to send them sequenced, personalized emails more so than what you would see on other platforms. And the best part is it does it in a very visually appealing way. So if we hit the button that says new sequence here, we can actually see text only or growth. I'm just gonna choose growth. So if I click on this, we're gonna see that this is our first sequence. It's an automated series of emails using these emails to deliver valuable information. And after a few educational messages, start to pitch our product. We can add more emails by hitting add email on the right. This is where you can actually start to create a chain of emails that someone receives, making it personalized and the experience tailored around them. Obviously, depending on who you're actually going to be selling to, if you're wanting to take somebody who is a new email subscriber and actually send them products, you're not gonna to wanna to send them all the products right off the bat. I mean, that would turn people off and make them wanna unsubscribe from your email because you're just simply selling them all the time. With sequences, it's a great way to actually show all the information to your email subscribers and then pitch them after a customized and tailored series of emails. Now for this, we can simply take these emails and chain them together and choose who exactly we're gonna be showing them to. We have the ability to go to the styles tab here and change the background color and start to put things together. If we move on over to the send tab here, we have our broadcasts where we can send those emails. If we click on that button here, we can actually see visual automated funnels and we're gonna get started using one right away. We're gonna start from scratch with an empty automation, but there are templates already created for us. Welcome subscribers to our podcast, run a paid newsletter, grow our audience with Sparkloop, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Actually, just looking at more of these, I think we are gonna use one of the templates just to get us started. So let's start out with this sequence, welcome new subscribers to your newsletter. So we're gonna use this template here and we're gonna copy the automation and its contents into our account. So for this template that's already been set up for us, we can see things like the newsletter onboarding and how many people have completed it, has received an intro to the content tag, and then after one day, we're gonna do a more about me intro follow-up and a newsletter intro if they've received intro. We can start to customize this to actually funnel people into different chains of emails, depending on how we wanna pitch them. Do we want to provide them with a ton of personalized content upfront? Do we wanna ask them to check out this product that we've done? It's all all customizable and it's dependent on tags too. Remember when we set up that tag earlier that said first email subscribers? Well, we can actually set up sequenced email chains to actually funnel people into the right places where they need to go. And if we wanna go edit it here, I can just click on newsletter onboarding and hit edit step, choose whether it's an event, action, or condition. So for this one that says has, has received an intro to the content tag, instead we're gonna edit this step and change it to new subscribers and we'll update the condition. Now that we've changed it so that we've actually put a condition in our sequence, making sure that everyone who's gonna be seeing these has the new subscriber tag and we can actually choose what that means. We are gonna be ensuring that only people receiving these emails are gonna be new subscribers. We're customizing and tailoring the experience for our audience. And the visual way of doing this is really customizable and it's very fun to play around with. But we're not gonna get too deep into this, but it is one of the most powerful ways that you can visualize all of the ways that your emails are being sent out on ConvertKit and growing your audience. And more importantly, turning them into paying customers. Now the rest of the automate tab is very simple. If this, then that, automation rules, integrations, connecting your content with ConvertKit by integrating with other accounts, RSS, automatically generating and digesting when the RSS feeds update. We're not gonna go over those, but if we go over the earn tab here, that is, if you can recall earlier, where we didn't have any products, where we can actually create our products, our tip jars, and see all the payouts we received. If we hit the products tab here, we can actually start selling online with ConvertKit and we're gonna create a new product just to show you what that's like. Now for the product that we're gonna be creating, it can either be pay once, have access forever, or it could be a subscription. Paying regularly, having access until canceled. So I'll just say Josh's product. And for this, we're gonna choose a subscription. We'll hit next and we'll say, yep, it's gonna be five US dollars every month. And yep, that's good, we'll hit next. How is it gonna be fulfilled? Is it gonna be a digital download, you know, ebook, PDF, et cetera? Is it gonna be a newsletter so that only people who are paying get access to this newsletter? Is it gonna be something else, coaching services? You can decide what you actually wanna do here. So if we go and just simply say, yeah, it's a digital download, or if we wanna do a newsletter, you know, we'll keep it simple with that. And we'll say the domain name is that, and we'll create that product. Now, in just a few short clicks, we've created a members only digital product that costs five US dollars a month. And we now have that product and can connect it to the rest of our ConvertKit tools.
Now we can actually add that product directly into our newsletters. We can route people there, make it very easy to actually manage that and have the payments all come back to us. Going back up to the earn tab here, we can actually see tip jars, you know, give your audience a way to send you a tip for your content and your payouts, seeing all the payouts for the products. This is a great way to connect with your audience and manage your own finances, joining and actually bringing your audience to the products and services that you're offering. All right, you're good to go. Everything you need to know to get started using ConvertKit. But let's recap one more time. Under the Grow tab here, we can see that we can browse all of our subscribers and customers, create custom landing pages and forms, create a creator profile that is our hub on the internet, and join the creator network to cross-promote our work with other creators to grow our email list together. Moving it on over to the Send tab, we can create broadcasts custom email broadcasts to different members of our audience, creating sequences to create multiple emails that are sent in order, email templates making things easy to do, and snippets, supercharging our emails to save us time. And when we're finally ready to automate that, bringing it over to the Automate tab, we can actually create visual automations, a powerful automated funnel for our audience with tons of features and customization so that the person you are sending the email to gets it at the right time. And finally, when you're ready to convert and sell people on your products and services, bringing it over to the Earn tab, we can see the digital products, physical products, whatever you may be selling, available and creatable using the Products tab on ConvertKit. We can create tip jars for ourselves and more importantly, get paid. ConvertKit is not just a powerful tool to actually grow a newsletter, but it's a great way to turn your growing audience into paying customers, bringing more revenue for you. This is especially great for podcasters, YouTubers, bloggers, looking to cash in on a growing audience that you're continuing to provide value for and actually have a platform to host all of the services that you're gonna be offering and make it easy to transition those subscribers into paying ones. Thank you so much for watching and as always, my name is Josh Mountain. I hope you enjoyed watching this video on ConvertKit and I'll see you in the next one.